we've got the car back on the ground. We're about ready for a test drive. We're going to show you how to safety wire the wheels on the car. The spinner nuts have been put on hand tight on the car and we make sure we put some never sees uh, a little on the threads and on the any of the mating threads where the spinner touches the inside of the wheel on the countersink make sure that they're never seized up in good shape or else they become impossible to get off the car after they've been left on for any length of time um, three simple tools for the job the big American five pound lead hammer is my uh, preferred tool of choice the safety wire pliers and the safety wire to do the spinner nut up we always turn the top of the nut towards the back of the car or tight ass if you'd prefer to remember it that way this one actually has a little arrow engraved on it some of them have some markings lettering um, stampings that kind of thing I've picked the rear wheel because it's the more difficult one and what we're going to do is we have the wheel on the ground to absorb any shock from doing them up um, and any shock transmitted through the wheels or bearings uh, by having it sitting on the ground on the tire. So to do the spinner nut up we're going to turn the back, the top, towards the back. You can see that it stopped spinning and you can hear and you can feel that it stopped spinning. So the spinner nut's now done up tight. We're going to peel out a length of safety wire and we're going to keep that turning in the direction of tightening. So we're going to wrap it around a spoke on the wheel that as you can see is pulling it towards the back at the top. The safety wire pliers are going to be put on somewhere close where you want it to finish up. You see um, the end of the spoke there and the hole through it. Now to operate the safety wire pliers I squeeze the handles together, pull the lock back in place, now I can let it go and to put the twists in the wire simply a matter of pulling the knob on the end and putting a few twists in the wire there's aircraft spec on this type of thing how many turns per inch and all that sort of stuff what's the length of the wire the wire is about 18 inches long and I'm now going to thread it through the back of the hole on the spinner nut I'm going to do the same thing again with the safety wire pliers. Pinch the wire, put some twists to it, snip it off somewhere close to the spinner and fold that in at the back out of the way so it's not going to hurt anybody. I'm actually going to take a second to put an extra bend in that to get it tucked in nicely behind it. And now I can keep an eye on the safety of my wheels by making sure that this is loose, which means that the spinner nut isn't changing its position. Looks like we're ready for a test drive.